the esophagus receives food from the swallowing action of the mouth. The structural and functional schematic representation of esophagus is shown on the screen. Stomach as the mixer and digester. When the food is present in the oral cavity or mouth, the nerves present in the cheek and tongue get stimulated and send messages to brain in the form of nerve impulses. These in turn get transmitted to the wall of stomach and stimulate the gastric glands to produce gastric juice. The walls of stomach secrete juices containing hydrochloric acid, HCL, stimulated by nervous system. When the muscles of stomach contract, the food gets mixed with the acids and juices present in stomach. These digestive juices convert the food into a smooth chopper-like texture called chyme. As the process comes to an end, the contractions of the stomach decreases. This relaxes the muscles called as pyloric sphincter at the opening of the stomach and the first part of the small intestine or duodenum. This in turn opens the pathway into duodenum by releasing the partially digested food, chyme, in small quantities into the duodenum. Peristalsis involves the contraction of the muscle behind the food and the relaxation of muscle in front of the food. This process helps in forward movement of food. Now, let us observe the action of peristalsis in animals. We know that the digestion of food starts from mouth and passes through the gut. In order to digest, the food settles for some time at different locations. Due to this reason, the food does not move uniformly throughout the digestive system. The table on the screen shows the average time periods. Our stomach looks like a pouch which is elastic in nature because size of stomach increases depending upon the food which we eat. Based on the quantity of food material, the digestive juices are released. If same amount of digestive juices are produced irrespective of the quantity of food, then the walls of the stomach would be destroyed. The HCL acid secreted by walls of stomach is strong enough even to digest the hard bones. The food leaving the stomach will be in the form of soup-like mixture. This mixture passes into small intestine. When the food enters the small intestine, the acidic nature of chyme secretes different hormones like secretin and cholecystokinin. These in turn stimulate the pancreas, liver and walls of small intestine to produce pancreatic juice, bile juice and succus entericus. The inner surface of small intestine consists of thousands of finger-like projections termed as villi. The function of villi is to increase the surface area such that the food retained in the folds can remain longer, thereby increasing the absorption. Villi absorb the nutrients in a selective manner. Because the walls of intestine allows only tiny nutrient particles to pass through and leaves the larger particles inside. Among all the internal organs, digestive tract plays an important role as it is exposed to a large variety of stimuli in the form of ingested food. The digestive tract consists of both the muscular and neural apparatus. They ensure the appropriate mixing of contents during digestion, absorption and excretion. The neural apparatus, which consists of vast and complicated network of neurons, is named as second brain by the scientists. The gut present in immune system protects our body from harmful diseases. The neurons or second brain help the gut cells to kill the bacteria which enters our body. The neurons or second brain in the digestive tract along with the main brain in our skull determine our mental state and play a key role in certain diseases throughout the body. 
Let us learn in detail about the role and functioning of the second brain. The second brain consists of some hundred million neurons. This is more than the nerves present in spinal cord or peripheral nervous system. These neurons in the second brain are embedded in the walls of long tube of our gut or elementary canal. This is about 9 meters long extending from esophagus to anus. The second brain controls several functions of the gut without the influence of the main brain such as stimulating and coordinating the breaking of food, absorbing the materials, mechanical mixing and expelling of waste. These functions require chemical processing, mechanical mixing and rhythmic muscle contractions. Few scientists believe that a very complicated system works to move the food material smoothly to and out of our gut. Let us learn how the wastes from gut flow out of the body. The two major pathways which expel wastes from our body are shown on the screen. 